Our new member, Harold Allenson, is welcomed from Crofton, B.C. Painted on the glass door of his studio is a sign that reads, sometimes open, sometimes not. Those words, Harold says, are pretty reflective of where he is in life these days. Harold drove long haul trucks for 35 years, and that has influenced his subjects and outlooks. He often depicts working friends in their lives and on their jobs. His realistic watercolors express a bold approach to color, composition, and subject matter. Harold Allenson is also a member of the Transparent Watercolor Association of America and the Federation of Canadian Artists. Please welcome our new member, Harold Allenson. Our new member, Sescafare, is from Salamanca, Spain. From an early age, Sesc was interested in art. He was also attracted by the more technical side of expression, perhaps influenced by his father, who is an engineer. Sescafare is an architect and studied at the prestigious Polytechnic University of Catalonia, UPC, Spain. At the Faculty of Architecture, he obtained a scholarship to illustrate architectural heritage and fell in love with the technique of watercolour. Sesc currently teaches master classes, workshops around the world, and engages in his own research. Sask describes himself as Mediterranean, and this fact translates naturally in his use of light and colour in his watercolours. He usually mixes his colours directly on the paper, giving the maximum transparency and brightness. He is passionate about nature and defines himself as a landscape painter. He is very inspired by water and its states. From Canada to China, India to Ukraine, Sesk Fare has shown extensively all over the world. Sesk Fare was in open water in 2020 and 2021. Our new member, Ken Fox, is from Victoria, BC. Ken was always an artist, right from his earliest memories. In Victoria and Vancouver, Ken has worked in design and illustration in children's books and website design and everything in between. Ken has found inspiration from the Group of Seven and from the land, sea and skies of Western Canada. He works in oils, watercolors and acrylics. Ken loves to work plain air and considers plain air his forte. As other artists have also said, plain air sketches retain a freshness and vibrancy. Ken describes it this way. When you come away from painting outdoors, what do you have? Not mountains and rivers, but paint. The paint has to be visually interesting. The paint becomes a subject. I love paint. To quote Ken Fox, at the end of the day, I consider the paint itself to be the subject. Therefore, it's important for the paint to be doing something interesting to engage the viewer. Ken has extensive experience in shows and has galleries representing him in Victoria, Edmonton and Toronto. Ken is a member of the Federation of Canadian Artists. Please welcome our new member, Ken Fox. Tiangong Liu was born in China. 
He is now a Canadian citizen, having lived in Ottawa. From early on, Tian Gong always loved to draw. About 11 years ago, he began to explore watercolors. Tian Gong takes inspiration from many and diverse masters throughout the last century. He is largely self-taught using hard work, books, and online videos. Painting watercolor is the best way for Tian Gong to express his enthusiasm for life and the world. It is a way for him to reach inner peace. After years of practice, Tian Gong has been developing his style that he describes as abstract realism. He enjoys transferring normal life landscapes into more fascinating scenario with mysteries and nostalgia. Tian Gong got his engineering degree in Germany and now works in Silicon Valley in California. Please welcome our new member, Tian Gong Liu from California. Our new member, Ting Wu, was born in Hunan province in China and now lives in Barrie, Ontario. Ting Wu grew up in an artistic family and was influenced by her father, who worked in traditional Chinese painting. She has shown extensively and won many awards. She was in open water in 2018, 2019, and 2021, and also elected this year by the jury. Ting Wu has shown in Canada, California, China, Malaysia, and Nepal. Since she was a child, Ting Wu liked to watch her father paint in a traditional Chinese style. Once she tried watercolors, she wanted this as her career. Ting Wu likes to explore the subtle beauties around her. She uses her own perspective and feelings to express them uniquely. As she describes, she likes color that is calm and a little jumping. Although it seems contradictory, she looks for a balance between calm and jumping colors. In her composition of paintings, she combines modern elements with traditional aesthetics. It is Ting Wu's goal to enjoy both refined and popular tastes and combine the ancient and modern. Please welcome new member Ting Wu from Barrie, Ontario. Our new member Sim Wong is welcomed from Toronto. Sim was born in Malaysia and came to Canada in 1974. Her early training was in traditional Chinese painting. Over time, she has studied various other techniques. Sim says that she is always striving to achieve the beauties of both worlds, spirit with harmony and the equilibrium between Chinese and Western art. Her work is found in collections around the world. She is a member of the Toronto Watercolour Society and the Art Guild of Scarborough. She has won many awards, including the International Women in Watercolour Show. Sim's work has been published in the Art of Watercolour magazine. In her artist statement, Sim Wong offers us this wisdom. I am a beginner and will always remain a beginner, for I discover and learn new things each day. It shall be this way for the rest of my journey, and for this I am thankful. Please welcome our new member, Sim Wong, from Toronto. Our new member, Frances Lee, is from Malaysia. Lee studied advertising and has worked in a fast-paced environment since then. 
with the need to build a reputation in advertising and the practical need to earn a living, there was little time left for painting for pleasure. A deep longing inspired Lee to return to painting. Painting has always been an integral part of his mind and soul, and in 2019, Lee returned to painting. Lee imagines, creates, and paints simply for the peace and pleasure of his soul. Colors and light are crucial in laying the groundwork for his work. Lee enjoys painting many subjects, but his most loved subjects are landscapes and nature. Lee is always experimenting and developing his art, watching it evolve from classic impressionist to abstract painting. Francis Lee shares this, through my painting, I am inviting you to come and share my space, a space that evokes openness, freedom, serenity, and exploration. <laughs>